Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the fifth episode in Linux Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can escalate your Linux privileges through the help of SUID. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or uh, ask any questions or anything like that, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous four episodes, we discussed some cons uh, for the first two episodes are related to enumeration. And the next one is related to kernel and exploit and, uh, and the next one is related to sudo. So now in this episode, we'll be discussing about SUID. So, so first of all, SUID. So I'll leave the, this link for like, if you want to learn more about SUID. So I'm going to link this uh, resource in the description below. You can do check that out. So it's a kind of permission. Okay. Like uh, the executable, like we have some permissions right in Linux, like read, write, executable, etc. like that. So SUID is also a kind of permission. So where we give this to uh, some files or some applications or so, so anything, some script or anything like that to run as the user uh, to uh, run as like a root, like owner user in the sense like root or administrator. So what is the benefit of this is like when if you consider a large system, so like uh, let us assume there is an nmap application. So if you are on Ubuntu, you can't always add sudo, right? So you can give SUID permission to the nmap and you can run it as root without even adding a prefix of sudo. So that is the advantage of this SUID. But uh, since it is an advantage, there is also going to be disadvantage, uh, which I'm going to show you in this video. So SUID, if you want to know more about this, you can do read from here. Uh, I'll leave the link of this uh, in the description below. Or you can uh, try to look for other resource of your choice. And uh, this is my notes, guys. If you want to uh, follow along, you can use this note. And some of you guys are asking me that uh, whether this note, why this notes is not completely uh, like it is not complete. Like why the screenshots, everything are not there. See guys, this uh, notes is like a handbook for me. So while I did some learning, I uh, wrote down some points which which I feel are necessary for me. So you can use that like a kind of handbook or a cheat sheet and you can use it. Okay. And the next one is this particular resource, uh, which is uh, the room that we that you if you are following my previous episode, then you would have known it. It's for free. And we'll be working on this task, uh, previous question through SUID. So you can see there is some kind of information here and there is also a command uh, which through which you can run. So let's start and the guys, uh, you can use this thing to look for, uh, okay. So let me go to my Kali machine here. So you can see this is my, uh, compromised machine. So who am I, Fedua, who am I? You can see it's Karen here. So like we are not a privileged user, but now let's see for applications or files or anything like that, which has this SUID permission. So for that, you can simply use this command that I'm going to provide you. Okay. Uh, in my notes or uh, you can use the command or uh, thing that it is provided, uh, in this particular, uh, try hack me room also it's your choice. So, but I'm going to tell you what it is. So first of all, we're looking for the files uh, which of permission uh, you uh, permission which is s so s in the sense uh, s in the sense it is like suid permission bit like uh, for executable it is x for read it is r for write it is w like that and uh, and here you can see type is like file okay file in the sense like it can be an application bind or anything like that not uh, specifically directories or anything like that and this two are greater than slash dev slash null in order to is in order to handle some kind of errors or exceptions, anything like that. And also guys, uh, one cool thing that I want to tell for you is like, you can copy this command. And if you don't know any command, not only this command, if you don't know any of this uh, command, uh, like if you haven't understood any command, so you can use this website called as explanation.com uh, and uh, you can simply paste the command that you want to look for. So you are looking like uh, permission. You can see uh, this is not mentioned. Is, we are looking here for something called as a type if in the cells like regular file like these are some or uh, you can use this particular cool web application like i've been using this tool since like uh like when uh, whenever i started this ethical hacking and stuff i'm starting i started using this tool uh, from since then and you can also use it okay so i leave the link for this explain shell.com website in the description below you can do check that out so once you run this command so it is going to show you all the applications or all the binaries or anything like that which you can run uh, which has them suid and stuff but what interests me most is like uh, the particular files in a user bin folder because these are mostly what you call these are like user defined stuff 
okay so what you can do is like or if you find some uh, like these are predefined stuff sorry but if you find any file or something which is user defined then you can try to edit them if there is a chance and uh, just add this uh, slash bin slash sh and you are good to go so like that's a easy case you can do that but uh, let us assume that we got some few files like chfe and pkxx so these are some default okay so these are some default uh, what you call a uh, thing which are available okay which you can have like uh, run as sudo uh, which you can run, run as like owner without mentioning sudo or anything like that so for this guys we will also be using this this gtfo bins so even this is cool here so what you can do is like so since these are some predefined stuff you can simply check for them like you can simply uh, look for the name like chfn okay like sometimes you might be having them sometimes you might not chfn like there is nothing available here but like this you can it's like hit or trail so try to look for something but the one that is available or working is this base 64 thing so this base 64 is a tool you all know that uh, where you can like encode or decode any information or a message in base 64 that's the uh, usage of this tool so simply copy it and you can see there is some functions for suid as well so hit on suid so you can see uh, this is for installation so what happens here is like since i have done this earlier so you can read any file okay like uh, let us assume that if you you are a normal user and you want to read some shadow file or anything like that right you cannot read it because the privileges uh, will stop you there but uh, what happens is uh, through the help of this particular uh, thing like base 64 if it as it is having a sudo or suid bit so you can run it so how you can do this is so there is a variable called as l file so simply copy this so let me show you an example so let me look uh, for uh, password okay and let me look for uh, shadow oh sorry so you can see that uh, we were able to see this password file but we are unable to see the shadow file because there is no permission to view like that and we don't even know the password of root in order to use it as sudo so how you can view this particular etc shadow file so i'm going to help you there for you so first of all uh like i'm just following the guide that they provided in this particular uh, uh tool guys uh, this website sorry so you can simply create a variable called as l file and you can simply uh, name the location of the file I think this uh, particular Linux machine is kind of uh, responding slow to me. So let's see. So I uh, created a variable here, a simple variable here. And guys, uh, after creating this variable, I simply pasted this command. So if I hit enter, so now you can see I was able to view the shadow file. So if you ask me what is the advantage of looking the shadow file, you are getting a hash here. Okay, so you are getting a hash. You previously got a password file. You can use this to crack those hashes okay so that is how this exercise works okay so so if you uh, if you go to this uh, thing so you can see there is some stuff here so what you can see is like uh, they are asking you to read this shadow file okay so once you read that uh, you are you, you are going to use something called as a, a john the ripper and uh, you are going to crack it so it's a kind of exercise for you guys so just do the just follow the steps that they have provided here or uh, anything so how you can crack the shadow dot uh, shadow file or anything like that and you can solve this challenge so that is it guys for this video so i've shown you how you can uh, leverage your privileges through suid so not only uh this thing guys like uh, it is not only limited to thing so there is something called as for nmap also there is something so for suid you can go there and uh, you can run these things like you can view some stuff there okay so that's a cool thing that you can look for so use these tools like gtfo bins and this explain shell.com so if you don't understand any command simply paste there and try to uh, do some kind of self-study there and uh, that's it guys uh, for today's video uh, i hope you really find this video helpful and uh, that is it uh, for this video if you really like it make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.